I like Sheldon a lot. He's been a person that I've known over the years. We have a very good relationship. And you know I'm self-funding. I don't want anybody's money. But if Sheldon gives to him, he'll have total control over Rubio. And that's the problem with the way the system works, whoever gives. All right, Donald Trump talking to me earlier about the reports that Sheldon Adelson, the casino billionaire, uh, who spent $100 million supporting Republican candidates, initially Newt Gingrich in the last election, is poised to plunk down his chips on one Marco Rubio. Byron York uh, joining us right now, of course, Byron of the Washington Examiner fame, great writer, great thinker. What do you make of how he's already positioning this, Byron, that, that uh, oh, sure, he's got Sheldon support, but he's in his hip pocket? Well, you know, this has been a very popular line for Donald Trump uh, with his audiences, that he, uh, he Trump, is self-financing. He's not asking for any, uh, anybody for any money, and he's not in anybody's pocket. Just yesterday at that No Labels event in New Hampshire, he was saying these, these other candidates, not just Rubio, who take that big money, they're all puppets. They're just puppets of the big money guys. So remember in 2012, a lot of people thought, you know, Mitt Romney's so rich, he's out of touch. Well, with Trump, it's like he's so rich, he can't be bought. And it's actually a positive for a lot of voters. Do you think, though, that um, he said something interesting to me, uh, uh, that once we're in a general election, if he were to get the party nomination, that th there are other wheels of the machinery that come into play, the party money to, to help finance that. But part of that party money, I was trying to point out, is the Sheldon Adelson money, these other big donor monies, the Koch brother money, um, that, 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 that is all in that. And I wonder whether that would contradict some of the things he said about not being beholden to anyone when in fact these are the interests that would would, would support your candidacy yeah I, I heard that exchange and and you're right he he certainly has the money to self-finance a primary campaign but your question was hey wait a minute general election campaigns get really expensive you're going to do you're going to self-finance that too and obviously not there is going to be a lot of money uh, from the party there will be outside uh, groups uh, Adelson and many others uh, will be part of that so uh, Trump will probably change the way he rhetorically uh, handles this but he'll he'll keep maintaining that he is independent because he doesn't need anybody else's money. Do you think also the fact that he's relentless about it, that he will go on any venue, he will talk and get his point across, even to those journalists he didn't name them, who he doesn't really like, or organizations he doesn't flip over, even yeah. going back to NBC and Saturday Night Live, and you know their legal dust-ups and, and, and otherwise, uh, dating back to his comments on the wall that the Mexicans would build, et cetera, et cetera, that he's very pragmatic when push comes to shove, you know? A couple of things that are interesting. One, you talked about him tweeting uh, the Democratic debate tonight, a yeah. way to kind of get in the story. And uh, he has, four, uh, I think, 4.4 million Twitter followers. And he loves Twitter because it allows him to communicate unfiltered. with millions of people. Unfiltered. Unfiltered at no cost. He told you, he said it before, he said, he said it's like owning the New York Times without the losses. Uh, so... <laughs> That's this is, true. I'd forgotten that. This yeah. is something that he uh, he absolutely loves. And the other thing he said to you uh, was about advertising, because you asked him how much he had spent, and he said about not too much, about a couple of million so far, because he doesn't have to pay for ads because no. so many news shows are covering him so much. He said, if I run ads on top of that, it would seem like too much. 4.4 million. Twitter followers. That's right about where you are, young man. Yeah, it's more even than ours, <laughs> yes. Byron, always a pleasure, my friend. Thank you very much for watching Thank Examiners. You, Byron York. All right. Well, uh, you've seen that Hillary Clinton is teaming up with the unions, even went to a Trump hotel yesterday in Vegas to sort of push the point after this.